Business Nation continues. Todd Green had a problem, so he scratched his head, thought about it, and came up with a solution. Here's tonight's How I Made My Millions. Balding at an early age, Todd Green decided to face the problem head on. For me, I started losing my hair when I was 22, 23. So I was faced with the, the Rogaine, the transplant, the toupees. And at that point, I thought, you know, I'm either going to fight this the rest of my life or I'm just going to shave. So I started shaving my head and I realized it's just really hard to shave your head. You go to shave your head. Conventional straight razors weren't making the cut, so Green used his head to come up with a better shaver. I would rub my, rub my head. And then I thought one day, wow, if I could just take a blade and put it under my hand, it'd be a much easier, more intuitive way to shave. But the established companies weren't wowed by Green's idea. So I wrote a letter to Gillette, I wrote a letter to Schick, and I, you know, I was naive. I think I wrote, you know, I'm, I'm designing the world's best head shaving razor. You know, give me a call if you're interested. And I didn't hear anything from Gillette. And then from Schick, I got a form rejection letter. And that kind of fueled the fire, the idea of, okay, so they just don't get it. You know, I'll do it myself. So I got some money from my father, a small amount, and then a couple of friends put in some money. So my capital was 150,000 startup. I put a lot of my own money into it, designed my own website, learned how to do e-commerce, did my own marketing stuff, apply for the patents, make the prototypes, put it into production. And then the funny thing was, within the first two weeks, uh, I got orders online from Gillette and Schick. We got a big hit from Details Magazine, Playboy Magazine. Then we're in Time Magazine, one of the top 10 designs in 2000. And I think it was the Playboy hit where I did $25,000 on the website. And that was one of those moments for me where I thought, okay, there's value in what I'm doing. Increased sales meant Green could expand production from his one-man operation in his apartment to eight employees in a large warehouse outside Los Angeles. Headblade has made Green a millionaire. With revenues topping $10 million, the company now sponsors a Harley Davidson racing team. How's it going, brother? Has partners and endorsements in the world of professional sports and celebrity headbladers like Howie Mandel and rocker Chris Daughtry. Green says it's just the beginning. So cool, so covered that when I shave. Head shaving's not a fad. Head shaving is part of a regular mainstream society. So I don't see our ceiling as a $10, 20000000 million company. You know, the hard work is, is starting to pay off. The nice thing is I don't lose hair or sleep anymore, right? An estimated 20 million Americans have male pattern baldness. Their loss may be Todd Green's gain. The head blade sells for $13 a piece. We'll be right back. 